Hello, I'm Ace Jammy, and here is your entertainment update. Toronto Fashion Week continues today and there are a host of events going on starting at 3 p.m. The events include House of Groups starting at 3 p.m., Cleo Compari starting at 4 p.m., Martha and Me starting at 5 p.m., The Shopping Diet with an appearance by Phil Block starting at 6 p.m., Attitude Only at Sears starting at 8 p.m., and Joe Fresh Style starting at 9 p.m. For more information on purchasing tickets, visit www.lgfashionweek.com. More than $400,000 has been raised for victims of Hurricane Igor after a benefit concert in St. John's on Tuesday. The concert was called We Stand on Guard and featured several Newfoundland entertainers. All the money raised will be going to the Canadian Red Cross. The Gemini Awards will get a dose of glee as Canadian actor Corey Monthy will host the show this year. Monthy is best known for playing Finn Hudson on Glee. The Gemini Awards will air November 13 on Global. A festival celebrating the latest works by Native people and new media will kick off today in Toronto. The 11th annual Imagine Native Film and Media Arts Festival will run until October 24th. For more information on purchasing tickets, visit www.imaginenative.org. President Obama, Barack Obama is going to be dropping by on the December 8th episode of Discovery Channel's Mythbusters. Mythbusters is a show that aims to uncover the truth behind popular myths and legends by mixing scientific methods with curiosity. Barack Obama will appear in the episode about Greek mathematician Archimedes. Diaz. Mel Gibson was once a beloved movie star, but due to recent drunken behavior, racist remarks, and a nasty public breakup, with his previous girlfriend, his reputation isn't looking too good. Now Gibson is set to make a career comeback. Mel Gibson is confirmed to have a cameo role in the sequel to the 2009 box office hit The Hangover. All leading actors are repra repraising their roles and Gibson is set to play a tattoo artist. Mel hasn't appeared on the silver screen since The Edge of Darkness released earlier this year. Hollywood director Ron Howard pays tribute to Tom Bosley calling him a wonderful father, husband and artist. The TV dad and actor of Happy Days died on Tuesday at the age of 83 in his home just outside Palm Springs, California. The actor was battling with lung cancer. That's all for entertainment. Now back to the studio. And that's all for Humber News today. Thanks for joining us. I'm Jared Lalonde. And I'm Rachel Yeager. Humber News is written and produced by journalism students at the North Campus. You can catch us online at mediaservices.humber.ca and on YouTube. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.